All right, we're going to turn to the big story tonight. Shake up at Michigan State University. John Engler is out as the university's interim president less than a week after suggesting some Larry Nassar survivors were enjoying the spotlight. MSU's Board of Trustees accepted his resignation during a special meeting this morning. And at that meeting, the board tapped Satish Utpa to take over for Angler. He is the school's executive vice president for administrative services. Many of the trustees say the 68 year old will bring integrity back to the position. But is the damage already done at MSU? Seven investigator Ross Jones in East Lansing with a closer look at the image issue at Michigan State. Michigan State's fight song calls it a school that's known to all. And for the last year under John Engler, it's been known for all the wrong reasons. Tonight, MSU students are reacting to news of his departure and their hopes for finally rebuilding the school's image. There are a lot of great things that MSU has to offer, and I do love being here, but it is hard when so many people are texting me from other schools saying, oh, do you hear what your president's doing? What's, what's happening at your school? Michigan State is starting over again. With another new interim president just introduced, its third leader in less than a year, Students we talked to today said they hope their once proud university gives them reason to cheer again soon. We definitely need better publicity. There's been a lot of bad stuff I've been seeing. There's a lot of great things that have come out of this university and it's sad that there's also a lot of bad things that have come out. Here on campus, it's hard to measure all the damage that's been done, first by Larry Nasser and those that enabled him, and then by the last year of John Engler's repeated insults toward victims. The school's reputation has surely taken a hit, with applications to MSU falling more than 8% last year. I have a younger sister who's planning on coming to Michigan State next year, and I'm more concerned for what her future looks like here and for everyone that's coming in after me. Well, students struck a cautious tone today. Some survivors of Nasser's abuse saw promise that maybe, finally, things will be different this time. Today I can finally say that I'm truly optimistic and I am excited to see where they are going to move forward from here. Um, and I really think that they are moving in the positive direction. Udba will likely only serve for about six months. Board of Trustees Chairwoman Diane Byram told me today she is on track for announcing a new permanent president by June. We're at MSU tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. A lot of work to be done.